Good morning, everybody. Maker of Love Homestead here. Um, my name is Kimberly, and welcome back. So today, um, somebody gave me a bunch of these butternut squash, and we don't eat butternut squash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them up, and we're going to actually save them for the winter for the rabbits. Um, and I'm going to cut them up. I've already kind of started on one. This is just one. So you imagine how much we're going to actually get out of these. Um, so we're going to cut them up and we're actually going to save them for the rabbits in the winter. And that way they can have some fresh babies and uh, stuff like that. Now you see how many seeds this comes with? There's a whole bunch of seeds. I will dry these seeds out. I've already done one, uh, one package of seeds I've dried out. But I'll do, I'm going to save those. And, um, that way maybe I can plant them next year. Especially because rabbits really like the butternut squash. Um, they'll eat the whole, if I was to put this, this whole thing out there, they would eat that whole thing. Um, but like I say, somebody gave these to us and we don't really eat them. So I'm going to put them in the, in the freezer for the rabbits, maybe for the, you know, give some to the pigs, etc. Um, but let's get into cutting some of these up, guys. A whole bunch of them. Whoa. A whole bunch of them. I'm going to get a little plate to put the seeds on. the seeds into here we'll let them dry out and we'll put them in our little seed packet get some uh, coffee this morning here mm-hmm that's to have the coffee in the mornings yeah we try to preserve as much stuff that we can like this stuff right here I will throw it in the compost uh, pile the top the top and the bottom I'll just throw those in the compost pile and then we'll keep the seeds like I said we'll keep the seeds Whoa. but if you've never seen it inside that's kind of what it looks like it looks really it looks kind of creepy and then you know it smells like a pumpkin but it smells really good if you've never smelled inside of a butternut squash it smells almost kind of cucumbery and pumpkin-ish it's a weird combination. I'll take all these seeds out here. Look, they have a lot of seeds. They have quite a bit of seeds inside of here. Now, I don't know if you could give those to like the rabbits for a natural dewormer or not, but I'm going to see. Just gonna cut them up to small pieces, and they're kind of hard. Like some spots are hard, some spots aren't. Like this one looks different, so this one looks different because I peeled it. But I don't think I'm going to peel them. It takes it takes quite a bit of time to peel them. We'll just cut it up like this. I'm sure if they don't want to eat the peeling, they don't have to. Yeah, I try to give the rabbits, you know, fresh veggies and some fresh lettuce and stuff like that. Um, I will go to like the grocery store and get like the fat, the frozen bag of like broccoli and uh, cauliflower, you know, mixed vegetables, stuff like that. They do get fresh veggies also get their alfalfa hay and their pellets see that's just out of two that's just out of two of those and we've got five to go whoa, whoa. that was not gonna be good let's see okay, wait, maybe the cut this is there we go. Dig out all them seeds that are in there. Man, I can't believe how many seeds that little thing has. It's quite a bit of seeds. Whoa. That went on the floor. With, with that peeling on it, or harder little bit harder to cut. I probably should have just peeled them. I 
see how that one was really hard. There we go. This one, look, they're already trying to sprout on the inside. These must have been, who knows how old these were. Because somebody gave them to her. I would just assume a food bank had given them to her. They didn't eat them either, so she gave them to me. Now, I've never grown uh, butternut squash. They almost look like boards. I thought at first they were boards. I thought, oh, heck yeah. That way we can make birdhouses. But then I got looking into it, and, and they, to me, they look like butternut squash. I mean, they could still be a gourd shoot. I don't even really know, but I'm calling it butternut squash. So we got... So we got that much out of three. Which I think that's a pretty good deal, because you run low on food for the rabbits, and be like, hey, here's some food. Pretty neat. Great big bag, I'll tell you that. Look at all this stuff. I have a little compost bucket over here. I'll throw all this stuff in a little compost bucket. It's literally a key litter box, and it's got holes in the top of it for ventilation. And then I'll take it outside and put it in the compost pile. But that's what we're doing for the morning, guys. Um, let me get the rest of these cut up and then we will come back and I'll show you exactly how many bags we got, which I think it's only going to be about two bags. <laughs> 